Welcome back to the show. Whether you're celebrating the mom in your life this weekend or beyond, it's fun to spoil her with the delicious Mother's Day cocktails we're about to show you. And here to show us his favorites is Vulcan Temel from 6-7 Restaurant at the Edgewater Hotel, one of the most beautiful places to go have a cocktail, not to mention yes. an entire meal, but truly a wonderful place. And you have brought us some wonderful drinks today, isn't that right? I did. I brought you three cocktails today. I'm so excited. So what are we starting with? I understand it's the lavender beret? Yeah, it is. It is. We're doing the mocktail version of it, zero proof, okay. instead of a gin. So we're using a Bulletin, bulletin Luster uh, as a gin replacement. We have a lavender uh, pea flower syrup that gives it purplish color, lime juice, and then egg white uh, substitute. Egg white substitute. Yeah. Oh, so it's almost like a kind of a gin fizz. Yeah, but, it All is. right. Well, let's get started. How do okay. we make this? So we do ounce and a half of the Wilderton. If you want to make this with an actual gin, you can substitute this with a gin. Okay. But not all moms want to drink gin on Mother's Day. I you get can it. do it with vodka, mezcal, okay. all right. tequila, whatever you like. Any clear Any clear. Liquid. Half an ounce of lemon juice. All right. And Three quarters of an ounce of a lavender pea syrup. And you say lavender pea, is there, is there peas in there? So it's the lavender pea flower that gives ah, that blue purplish thank color. Thank you for explaining. And what is that? This is the, um, this is what makes it uh, foamy. Instead of using an egg white, we use this. So this a makes non -egg it. A non-egg alternative. Yeah. How, I, okay, let me see that again. That is the coolest thing. Don't squeeze, use fees. <laughs> Foam. Okay, that's going to be a new staple in my bar cabinet. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. And then we go Give shake this very, very hard. To get the foam. Yeah. All right. And so, you know, I know that uh, Edgewater has a huge musical history. You know, the yes. Beatles stayed mm -hmm. there, Prince. And this is actually named after Prince, kind of huh? with raspberry beret. This is the lavender beret. Yes, it is. He, since he loved the purple color, we thought this would be a perfect mashup with him and with his song. I think that's perfect. Oh, look at that color. Oh, it's truly so purple. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful looking cocktail. All right, and you're gonna put just a flower floating in there. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty, it's perfect. So you get cocktails go. and a flower for Mother's Day. Yeah. I love it. All right, I'm gonna try this. There we go. So let's get started on the second one, the spring fling. Yeah. Grab this. So on this. Ooh, that's yummy, by the way. On this one, we have an ounce of a mezcal. Mm. And then this one is actually pineapple jalapeno syrup with Malibu in there, so Malibu kind of um, stabilizes it so it doesn't go bad. Oh, so the alcohol in the Malibu rum stabilizes mm -hmm. the pineapple juice. Yeah. I see. Okay. Science. <laughs> and then half an ounce of lemon juice. By the way, this lavender beret, if it moves, it's a good thing you made it zero proof because I would probably chug it. It's so good. <laughs> mm. Now, mezcal is a very smoky liquor, isn't it? It is. It is actually um, told to be the gateway to scotch because a lot of people don't like the smokiness of scotch, but mm -hmm. with mezcal, you can start slowly and get used to that smokiness. It's a gateway to scotch. I've never heard that, but I love it now. And so, I see the Prosecco here as well. Are you going to yeah. top it with yeah, that? Yeah, it gets topped with a Prosecco. Okay. It looks really light and refreshing. It is perfect for spring. And then you just top it with a lime or a lemon? Lemon. A lemon. There we go. Oh, look at this citrusy little fun beverage. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm, you know, it, it has the smokiness, but it also has a really refreshing taste. It does. You don't taste a lot of the mezcal, because I'm not a huge fan of that, but I think that's a very refreshing drink. Thank you. All right, our last drink, the Sin Smash. So this is a um, mashup of a smash cocktail. So we partnered with Wooden Wheel Whiskey and we picked our own barrel. They made us, a, they bottled uh, the yeah. bourbon for us. Oh, really? So it has the 6-7 on it. We got the full barrel oh, for ourselves. A handwritten label, my friends. That is some seriously fancy whiskey right there from Woodenville. I yeah. love that it's local. So we get 
two ounces of the bourbon in here. Okay. And then half an ounce of the raspberry syrup. Raspberry syrup and bourbon, not something I would typically pair together. But that's why you're the mixiologist. Here. Yeah, this was actually made with one of our um, restaurant managers, Kylie mm -hmm. and Aaron. And uh, with the help of our uh, one of our server, Allison. Oh, is that where the sin comes from? Yeah, the sin her, her, smash? Last, her name is Allison, so oh, cool. sin smash comes from there. We'll put a few bay leaves, uh, basil leaves in here. Oh my goodness. This is really, okay, I can't wait to try this. This is quite unique. Thank you very much. And they're also pretty, that's what I love about it. I'm really, you got, I, I am really into this lavender one. I, I love lavender as it is, but this is just delicious. This is going to be a little sweeter and a perfect color of red. While you're pouring this, and I can't wait to try it, what else are you doing at 6, 7 for Mother's Day? Uh, we actually brought our uh, buffets back after COVID, started with Easter, oh. which was perfect. Everybody enjoyed it, and Mother's Day we're bring, doing a brunch buffet as well. It's a not a traditional buffet, so you get to pick your entrees off the menu and then go into the buffet and have appetizers, desserts, and some action stations. Mm -hmm. And do you need reservations? Is, are you taking reservations? Highly recommended. We are okay. at our uh, limit right now, but we still have some space. All right. Well, if I can't get there this year, I there will come next year because it is such a beautiful place to enjoy. Not just a cocktail, but a brunch, like I said. Cheers to you, my friends. Enjoy. Ooh. You can really smell that basil. Oh yeah, if you're a fan of bourbon, this is your breakfast drink. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Thank you so much, my friend. It's been a pleasure um, drinking with you today. <laughs>